field. A Nothing like a freedom 60 minute marathon cruising on the gold wing, listening to I like the rains from Africa to brighten your day. Who needs coffee? <laughs> Very cool classic Honda. If you watch our channel, you know we've had a, uh, uh, dozens of these come through in every shape and form from cafe racers to strip bikes to what it's really supposed to be a touring bike. And until you get behind this beautiful big fairing and see that it's cut down beautifully so you can see over it and uh, crank up the tunes, you don't know how good it is. There's tons of storage uh, in the front here, in the glove boxes. Just a really cool bike. Um, this is stock original paint on it in beautiful condition. This bike's almost 50 years old. Was it 40, 41 years old? That's right. 41 years old. I'm there, 40 years old. Actually. There has an original mag Comstar mag wheels on here. Um, the tires on the front looks brand new to me from here. It's still got the nubs on it. Uh, the rear tire looks brand new also. Starts right up. It's got a good battery. <laughs> Bought it all through five gears. Um, the uh, bike handles like a dream. It's got the original, I think it's leather uh, um, glove box on the top here with the, the gold plated gold wing logo. Uh, showing only 41,000 miles on the odometer, original bars. Uh, it's got a nice set of highway pegs. The dude that we bought this from, Kenny actually bought it from him. He said that uh, the only reason he sold it is he went and bought a new Harley Davidson, which uh, if you think about it, the cost of the taxes and insurance on that bike probably exceed uh, what you'd spend on this the first year you own it. So um, this is a much, much, much better investment than any new uh, motorcycle, whatever it be, because you buy a new bike, as soon as you roll it up a lot, you're gonna lose thousands of dollars on a $20,000 bike. This bike here is going up in value. Tank's clean on the inside, it has a new battery, it's got new tires on it. Like I said, I, I wouldn't hesitate to ride it cross country tomorrow. Now, in, in, in a light of full disclosure, I will tell you, it does run a little shitty uh, when it's cold. Um, I would suggest running a, a few tanks of uh, 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 a carb cleaner through the gas tank. It'll probably clear itself up. If not, you probably have to replace the pilot jets. The main jets seem to be fine because when you get on the throttle, you can cruise down the highway 65, 70 all day long, no problem. It's a big four cylinder motor. Um, it's liquid cooled, it's a Honda. The thing will run forever. These, these motors are good for a quarter million miles. So big deal, you, you do a carb clean on it or run some aggressive carb cleaner through it. Um, either way, it's gonna need a carb clean and a front brake service. The previous owner, Brett, was setting his videos of this bike running flawlessly. Um, he let the bike sit for a few weeks while we were putting the, the deal together and pump fuel and pilot jets. The pilot clogged. jets are so small, uh, the ethanol fuel will clog it and for some stupid reason they had pump gas in it without any treatment and it sat for a month. I would run a heavy, like an, uh, what's it called, ocean, uh, what's that stuff called? Sea foam. Sea foam. We're sea selling the bike as is as we just lost Mark Olson and our right, lead tech who, who worked on our gold wings here uh, just left for a hundred thousand dollar a year job at a, at a big shop. Um, and Chris has his hands tied, so this one's going to go up as is at a lower price. I can tell you this uh, uh, Rich Burgess, uh, one of my friends, is a realtor out of Florida. We auctioned one of these off many years ago, not running, the bike was not running 50,000 miles, and it bid up to five thousand dollars. It, the only difference between the one he bought and this one was it didn't have a fairing on it. And they look a lot cooler without the fairing on it, arguably. But um, he, Rich Burgess, he's on Facebook. Look him up um, from Florida, Rich Burgess Realty. And hit him up if, if you don't believe me. He absolutely loves that bike. He cleaned the carbs on it and he uses it as a daily rider. And he freaking loves it. These clean up beautifully. This one hasn't even been detailed. Hasn't even been through our detail shop. You spend an afternoon with some chrome polish and a little steel wool on the chrome clean up like a diamond so um, the original seat is in is super comfortable uh, big Honda cruiser seat the original side panels are in good shape the pipes are in nice shape the rims look great the uh, rear tires got 90% tread left so like I said it's a cross-country beast um, inside of the tank is clean run some sea through foam through it and send it uh, get your front brake serviced We've got a six month backlog on restorations. Our loss, our gain. We're selling this one as is. Starts right up and uh, pulls my big butt up the hills, no problem. So, Honda. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America. It's original exhaust system, original tank and tins, black and gold from the Honda factory. Gotta hear the 
exhaust note on this thing. Listen to this. Call with any questions, 860-454-7024. We can offer financing or get a shipping quote. Just message us your zip code. Thanks for watching this far. Again, call, message with any questions. Or leave the bike in the museum for as long as you like for free. We don't have any gold wings from this era in the museum currently. Ken's gonna put her back in the museum where she'll wait for the new owner. I think he's a little bit excited right now. Hey! Yeah. I forgot to tell you, this thing's an absolute chick magnet. Look at it. Big comfy C4. Take the girl to the beach. Take her to the beach. She'll absolutely love it. Guaranteed. Haha. <laughs> Descend it! Thanks for watching guys.